Octavio. <laughs> you, 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 you're Bivington Bradwick. No way. Yes way. No way. Bivington Bradwick. Yeah, I, yes, it's really me. From Forge's super successful Dirty 30? Yes, well done, Octavio. But, you know, I'm not the only person here associated with that vaunted list. You are too. <laughs> That's right, you are one of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. How does it feel? <laughs> this is a dream come true! I feel so fudging validated right now! Fudge, yes! Even more validation! Thank you, Vivington Bradwick! I love you! Yeah. Oh, right! I almost forgot! This is for you. It grants you access to the Dirty 30 VIP room. Dirty 30 members only. <laughs> so, where is the old angel investor? Would love to party with her in chat, you know? One business sight into another. Oh, the angel investor isn't here. She unwinds in more private circles. More private than this? Relax. Okay, can I offer you an overpriced drink? You seem like... A man of taste. Maybe something from the booze luge. <laughs> Only select members from the VIP section can partake from the booze luge. It's called a booze luge for a reason. Slide down some booze! These diversions are for you, the real VIP. Anu and Fran are being well taken care of, I assure you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the success you earned. You're sure they're having a good time too? Oh, absolutely positive. Dar, at last! It's so great to meet you. Come on in, please. I've been dying to show you the space. Huh? Say hello to your new home away from home. Please, after you. State-of-the-art facilities, unlimited resources. Huh? A dedicated, multidisciplinary team working under you. No oversight and no Deadlines. Not to be just like super on the nose about it, but frankly, this is any scientist's dream come true. So no deadlines, just timelines? We know better than to try and rush genius, Dr. Dar. But, but... We find putting hard deadlines on complicated projects really just results in creating anxiety where none needs to be. No. No anxiety. Not here, Dr. Dar. Not here. Oh. 
Seriously, this is perfect. It's like you picked this lab right out from one of my dreams. But I couldn't possibly take this lab. I have my own company and a project I'm working on, and Octavio and Fran need me, and... Okay. I understand. It's a real shame, though, because we have some problems, which, if you solve them, would change all of science. Probably even the world. Forever. Like, the type of problem where they'd name an equation after me? Equations? <laughs> More like planets. But that's okay. You are a busy woman with things to do. I suppose I have a few minutes. I could take a quick peek. It's an honor watching you work. I've identified the issue, but I can see how you missed it. This fluid is not pH balanced for the reaction you're attempting to achieve. It just needs a little more... base. <laughs> I said it needs a little more... base! <laughs> no? Nothing? Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Where do they keep their alkalis? Trust the process. Trust science! What's this then? It's a code we've found. We're positive it has something to do with iridium energy conversion, but we haven't been able to crack it. No way, no way. Is that a Voltlander's figurine of Maya in her limited edition cloak of Athena's? <laughs> Maya. Maya. Maya, 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 Maya. Maya. <clears throat> Should I take you? I want to take you. I can't take you. But someone else could take you? It'd be wrong to take you. I'm gonna take you. I took you. I have a very good feeling about this.
Can you tell me what this is? Congripulizer. Congripulizer is meant to do... Of course! You're gonna love this. We based it on the research in your dissertation. So good, by the way. So basically, the congripulizer accelerates structures at chill temperatures of 218 degrees below Kelvin, which facilitate an electromagnetic pulse in a complete vacuum, thereby ionizing the space into a quantum field that raises the temperature half a degree before lowering it again, allowing iridium waves to vibrate in a delta pattern. But it's not working. Right, and my dissertation posited numerous theories, but no solutions. We thought we'd cracked it, but it's not working. Nothing a genius like you can't fix, I'm sure. Machine not functional. Yeah, I know, but why? Scanning. No idea. <sighs> oh, maybe I can review the work they've done on it so far. <laughs> Such focus, such dedication. Very good feeling about this. According to these readings, you are full to bursting with urine! Fantastic! <laughs> Nervous, Pierre? Me too. Sometimes, all it takes is a little soothing music. Such focus, such dedication. Perhaps some soothing music would help the jabber to relax and fall into a flow state. And by flow state, I mean pee. Maybe he could pee. Huh. Lo-fi beats that you could take a leak to. There really is a station for everything these days. Hmm.
There you go. Some nice, relaxing music. Uh. Oh no. Still feeling shy? what I've been saying all along. Nature provides us the solution to so many problems. No one blinks twice at the idea of shooting someone, but ask them to handle a little jabber urine and their worldview shatters. I mean, look! Look at what science can achieve! Now, uh, what did you need this for again? It's for hair growth. Try some. I pass. Th thank you. No. There's no cipher for this code in the database. If I had more texts to work with, I'm positive I could crack the code and translate it. <laughs> it's an honor watching you work. Secrets of science kept secret, eh? It's written in the same code that's on the whiteboard. <gasps> Surely there's enough text here to crack code if I use my tech goggles to analyze it. Decrypting weird code. <sighs> Cipher unlocked. You're welcome. Hmm. Now that I have the code, I can translate the whiteboard. Plus one point for Anu's genius. You cracked the code. We've been stumped on that one for weeks. What does the message say? Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. That seems like pretty life-altering advice. Process. Trust science. Identify the issue. You've... you crossed the streams. I'll cross them. <laughs> Should be all working now. Oh, so close, but no. When you've exhausted all other options, sometimes it's best to just get physical. You... you've done it! 
We've been struggling with these problems for weeks on end, and you solved them, all of them, in one day. That's wow. That is wow. Well, I, you know, sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes. <laughs> One question, though. I understand the connection between the code and the congripulizer, but how does the jabber urine factor in? Oh, it didn't. Okay, all right. <laughs> Three cheers for Dr. Dar! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> Fran. Rita? In the flesh. Your sister put a price on my head last I saw her. You here to collect? Fran seen the bandit queen, right? Rita always was a bit too dramatic. I'd like to think I'm a bit more pragmatic. So you aren't here to kill me? Wouldn't dream of it, no. Your reputation for ice-cold murder makes you strong leadership material. And that's exactly what we're looking for in a new CEO of the Franz Frogert franchise. You want to turn my Frogert shop into a franchise? Yes. The company I represent is willing to invest several trillion dollars to convert what was once your humble little shop into a galaxy-wide empire. And the cherry on top? A five billion dollar signing bonus. All for you. Five billion dollars? That's almost six billion dollars. Go ahead. Take her for a spin. Make yourself a cup of Frogurt. We paid careful attention to your signature flavor profiles. You're gonna love it. See for yourself. Okay, let's see how you did with my chocolate dill pickle. Did you even get this picture? The sooner you sign off on the store, the sooner we can have you sign your contract. collect all the dough in this place. I am Fran of Franz Frogers after all. Make it rain! <gasps> hey now. <gasps> Even better than cash. Cool. 
corporate sanitized, franchised Franz Frogert all across the land. Wonderful. Ooh, corporate fat cats keep their loot in places like this. <clears throat> Salutations. Care for a duel in a thrilling trial of Boatlanders? Ah, crap. Okay, Tiny, let's go. <laughs> Your jest is hollow. For I am not Tiny. Unless you're referring to my genitals, which I lost in a buzzsaw accident. Don't care. Let's go. Select your ball lander. Mordecai. Mordecai versus Brick. new to this. Either I'm really good, oh, or you suck. Both. Wait. Oh. Good boy. Dude in a trunk with no junk. Where's my big hole? I don't know how to answer that. I hate these newfangled broken here? I do not use that mode anymore. <sighs> Looks like someone is repressing a traumatic memory. Would you like a foop in hand? No! That's a foop in shame. You know our policy. If you want to repair, you gotta share. 
I can share. You want me to share something personal? Something personal. Hmm. Something personal. I never got to pork Octavio. That tall stack of man meat. You're avoiding your true feelings. That boots my fooping foop. Wait, hold on, I can do it. I... I... You can't just foop a suppressed memory from thin air. You have to be relaxed. Gently foop it from your mind. I'd like to foop you from my mind. Why don't you do some chores around your store? This place could use fooping up, and the activity is sure to give your memory a foop in the pants. <laughs> Wash my hands, huh? Thanks, Mother. Ew, one of those fancy schmancy zen fountains. <gasps> Namaste. I don't know how you're doing this, but something's coming out. Boop. Go ahead, explore the space. After all, it's your space. Ah, oh, jeez, you can't sling Froger like that. Like what? You look like Foop! Total Foop! All right, I'll freshen up. Fantastic! Please boop your food. <laughs> no, not a chance. Can't hurt to liven this place up with some tunes. Please poop a selection. Pump it up, Promethea. Uh, 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 uh. That's not what I fooped. That's not what I fooped! All right. I'm ready to share. Whoopee! I'm all poops. We were on a trip for field day. A holiday where kids gather to go look at a field. I saw a group of bullies going to town on a poor defenseless spider ant. And if there's one thing I hate, it's bullies. What did you do? What I always did. I got mad. Only this time, I wasn't just mad. This time, I was so angry, I activated my hover chair's 
mecha mode. In hindsight, it was a smidge of an overreaction. But once I had those bullies in my sight, the rage, it carried me inexorably towards a conclusion I didn't yet know to dread. Caught up in my anger, I launched my mecha ballistic freeze ball bomb. Did they survive? Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. In fact, it sort of set off what I'd later call my big murder whoopsie. I hit those suckers so hard, they're flying through the air, already dead, and they hit a nearby sitting tank of field gas. What's field gas? Gas for the field. The better question is, what was it doing sitting there full that afternoon when the field should have been gassed up already? Anyways, these guys hit the tank, and it's a small explosion. More people died, and they weren't even bullies. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I saw the answer. It was so obvious, right in front of my face, surrounded by other possible options. The water tower! But instead of putting out the fire like it was supposed to do, it just made things worse. Water spreads fire when the original source is oil. Fuel gas being oil. I know that now! The buildings and train station and passing train around the field all went up! More lives lost. I was just trying to help. I would call this my somewhat bigger murder whoopsie. First the bullies, then the field gas explosion. Now I'd been betrayed by water? There was just so much destruction, so much death. I was trapped in a cyclone of emotions, but what I felt most was frustrated. Anyway, that's how I learned at a young age a painful truth. I am a monster. My inability to control my anger resulted in unimaginable destruction and I vowed then and there never to use mecha mode again, but of course that vow wasn't enough to save me from the worst punishment Promethea can lay on a person. Compulsory anger management. Ooh. Now that's a foopin' feeling! That's the key to Fran's family-friendly feeling foopin' Froggers! You've shared. Now, you can repair. You gonna pour that yogurt or what?
at suitable temperature. Franz Frogan is ready to serve. The unholy evils that dwell in this Frogert. Delicious, right? So, are you in or are you out? Take your time, about 10 seconds worth of it. This was a trap. To emotionally devastate you, yes! <laughs> and it worked! <laughs> so does my freeze ray. Folios frozen. If I could find my punch card, the next one should be free. <laughs> Whatever you say will be immortalized in your super successful Dirty 30 profile. I had some help. <laughs> this nerdy sister and an angry woman in a haverage hat. Co-founders. Co-founders? <laughs> That's a strong word. But yeah, they're, they're co-founders. Hey, yo! This song is my jam! This party's a little dead. Totally dead. Why don't you and I head to the VVIP section? <laughs> There's a VVIP section? Here. The more successful you are, the weirder stuff you're into. <laughs> no, Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. <sighs> Care to stick your face in the belcher? Courtesy from the angel investor, only 11 people in the world have enjoyed mouth gas from the voucher. You know what they say about peer pressure. Always follow it! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> I still wish Anu and Fran were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Anu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. You did it. 
You actually did it! Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is, you did it without using the potassium magnesium channels. Absolutely brilliant. You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put, you've changed science forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dar, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. She's heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> Observation room. Is the observation room comfortable? I believe there's been a mistake. This is actually a cage. I'm so sorry. We'll get right on that. You're not doing anything. You put me in a cage. Amazing. Dr. Dar figured it out. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Dar, you're taking me, huh? You, you, you. You're all bullies! Stop applauding! It's patronizing! <laughs> Woo! This party is hot! I should take my shirt off. Or we could go to the VVVIP room. The VVVIP room? Welcome to the VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. I'm a VVVIP! Are there any more Vs I could get? No. You have all the Vs. I have all the Vs! <laughs> v, 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 I, P, V, 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 I, P, V, 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 I, P, V, 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 I, P, V, V, I, P, V, V, I, P, V, I, P, V, V, I, P, Ark? Anu? Oh, yes. Right there. Put your data right there. Inconsequential. I'm here now. It doesn't matter that you and your friends humiliated me in a store. It doesn't matter that I was fired for playing Bullet Lander. If you had any hope of freeing your little friend, you must first defeat me. I'd prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I did not. Now, battle! Cause Damn it, anyway. Come here. <gasps> Select your ball lander. Amara. Amara versus Moe's Vault Landers. Fight. Whoa! <laughs> wow. 
Get off! Critical hit! Land ripping! Critical hit! I won. Wait. I won! <laughs> Who's the best Vaultlander competitor in the galaxy, Brandy Yes! Eat it, you teeth, your trash! You can't have won. I was depending on this. I needed that W! Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you? There's food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? I hope not. Wow. Louis, wake up! I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. board of sensations. It was true bliss. I think our children have got themselves into trouble. We better go find them. Our children? In this metaphor, would I be the daddy? Ah, you. Are the daddy. I am the daddy, yes. What happened while I was diverted? Oh, I relived my suppressed life defining trauma and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant to make yogurt. From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. We gotta go find our two dum-dums before they get themselves killed. Come on! 